All right, guys, it's time for the Spider-Man Homecoming review. And I'll be honest, this movie didn't hit well. Um, usually, I'm going to be as movie guy as I can instead of a comic book fan. Um, so, let's get into it. Spider-Man Homecoming does some things right, but it also does some things wrong. And it gets most of it wrong. And the way that I say this is because... Let's talk about... Peter Parker. Or Spider-Man, really, as a whole. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, whatever. When you think of something like that, you think he's going to be the funniest part of the movie. He's Spider-Man. He's supposed to be jokey. And it doesn't hit well. And here's why... Because you know why? Every character is a joke character now to Marvel. There's not a serious character. Maybe Black Panther, but we haven't seen a full movie for him yet. He's been in like 30 minutes of the whole universe. Okay. Besides that... Vision... Eh, but he's just as a boring character overall, honestly. But then Iron Man funny. They made Thor funny. They made Captain America funny. They made Black Widow funny. They made Hawkeye funny. They made the Hulk funny. They made Scarlet Witch funny. Tiger Guardians of the Galaxy are funny. Spider-Man? Funny. But you know what? No one else... You, you see my point here? Nobody's different. It's just one bigger group of guys. Hey, we're really powerful, aren't we? Hey! And it doesn't hit home at all. Spider-Man isn't the funny guy in his own movie. And it doesn't help that Iron Man... And I'm going to be... Fair warning, this is going to include spoilers. Fair warning... The movie doesn't hit well because, you know why? I Spoiler alert. The spoiler's are going to hit at 2.45. If you have not clicked off, that's your own fault. Hope you're gone. I hope you're gone. All right. You better be gone now. Because Spider-Man gets his ass kicked by everybody. And I could, I could do better than this. I could do one thing to this movie, and it would be drastically better. Vulture, all right? Vulture wasn't the problem. Go, find hero. Oh, find villain. I don't know why I said hero. All right? Find villain. But, you kicked Ant-Man's ass. You kicked Captain America's ass. You were kicking ass. But yet, Vulture... Is kicking your ass. A 50-year-old man in a suit that really has not that much power is kicking your ass. Royally. And I get the story they were trying to tell here of Peter. He really, he's a 15-year-old with this power. So what are you going to do? He tries to help, but then kind of fucks it up. And when he his heart is set in the right place, but it always doesn't mean that well, you know? But... It... It doesn't hit home. Because, let's just take the kid... I'm not here to say the kid, the his Ed, I think it was his name. I didn't like him as a character. I thought he was more of an annoyance than anything. But I will acknowledge, my theater was eating his ass up. Every time they spoke, they laughed. And of course, that was what he was supposed to be. He was supposed to be the comic relief when Spider-Man is a comic book character that's naturally funny. He's a wise ass. And he did come across like that. 
But the problem was, was that he doesn't distinct out from anything. When you put him with Iron Man, there's literally, you are just shoving comedy. It's like putting fucking, I don't know what way to put this, but it's like forcing, it's like making a Deadpool movie, but not making Deadpool the funny character. Making everybody else funny. If that's not, like, fucking retarded, I really don't know what is. This movie doesn't hit all its nails and points that it should for a Spider-Man movie. And I get that I'm getting way off track in points, but let's, like the kid, the... When you get your ass kicked so hard, and then everyone else is comic relief, you're really hard to be a, a hero. And that's a damn shame, because Spider-Man is one of your most prominent heroes of all time. If you take everything out, just it, Batman's my favorite hero, then Spider-Man from Marvel. I'm not saying he's my second favorite, but he is my favorite hero from Marvel. And they fucked him up. Badly. It's a fucking shame when he doesn't... When he doesn't stand out in his own film. It was just unfortunate, dull, and sometimes even boring. Story was fine. I called the I called the twist though. I said, "Oh, that man's gonna be the oh, it's gonna be that's his daughter, isn't it?" Whenever he said he had a family, and I was like, "I bet you, I bet you they're doing, I bet you, I bet you they're a family." And then it's gonna be a morale choice at the end. Do I stop her and maybe risk of hating me? Or do I do the right thing and stop him? And the whole point of throughout this film was that Peter feels like he's an adult with these powers and needs to be be an adult and be able to fight the next thing when he doesn't. And he he keeps go he keeps trying and his heart's in the right place. But at the end doesn't do it. His heart is always in the right place, and he somewhat does it, but then somebody always has to come in and help him out. It isn't a good precedent for your first solo movie back in something to say, yeah, you need your help with everything. And of course that you can say, oh, he won the fight and he stopped the villain. No, he really didn't. He lost. The guy was going to get away... But the thing, the course blew up on him. He won and was like, oh, I'm getting this. And then he's like, stop, or they're going to blow up. I'm trying to help you. Of course, yes, if you just say, who won the fight? Yeah, Peter won the fight. But, but it was due to a technicality. He got his ass kicked. I'm not saying that he threw, he didn't like, he didn't totally get squashed. I'm not saying that. But he didn't win. The only reason he won was because a guy, the thing that the guy was using blew up on him. So he got his ass kicked again. The fairy, he lost. Now he didn't get his ass kicked. But things blew up in his face, and I get that. They were trying to tell the story of this guy. You're a kid, and you don't... You act. You don't think, you just act. And I was like, all right, I get that. But then it was just Iron Man just fucking, like, shitting on him in his own movie. I'm like, what the fuck did you do to bring him back? What was the point? Just for Iron Man to shit on him? The plot. Predictable. Action was good. 
I didn't have a problem with the action. I got, like how they set up and how he evolved his suit was well done. Um, but I actually did want to point out on something here that is valid. People bitch that's Amazing Spider-Man three, saying you could see the whole movie in the trailers. This is valid for the Spider-Man Homecoming. You can see nearly the entire movie in this trailer. I don't care what people say. You've seen if you watched every single trailer, you've seen this entire movie. And the reason I would have absolutely loved this movie, the verdict I'm going to give might piss some people off, but if they, I would have given this movie maybe a nine, if they would have set this two months before Civil War. I know what you're thinking, but that wouldn't do any good. Yes, it would. Because then it shows, because it's in Civil War, he was kicking the likes of Ant-Man's ass in Captain America. Said it two months before the film. And then you're like, oh shit. This man can kick some ass now. He's kicking everybody's ass. He grew because they wanted to say, oh, with a couple more months of training, you'll be good to go. And then also, this Aunt May, I'm done with it. It's already an annoyance of this, like, MILF Aunt May. This is fucking retarded. I'm glad they're not, like, I get why they're not mentioning Uncle Ben, Uncle ben and all that. It's been done. Marvel was like, we don't want to just piss people off and do another backstory to Spider-Man. I 100% get that. I'm not going to argue with them over it. It's been done. They don't want to delve into that. I respect that. What I don't respect is when you you buy a hero, you buy him and say, we want him in these, these six films. Gets his ass kicked. In the first film, you made him look, oh, I'm always like, oh, Spider-Man. This Spider-Man single movie is going to be great. He's going to kick some ass. You bring in Iron Man. Belittle him. Gets his ass kicked. And you just make him look weird at points. Like, and I'm not, the comedy from him when he was Peter Parker, I laughed at. I said, that's good. Like, he's a 15, I get it. You're, you're going through high school. You're going through all that. And I get that. But the other kid, Ed, he, you're forcing something down people's throat. And then you throw in Tony Stark. You're throwing in all this additional comedy that's not needed. Let Peter Parker in Spider-Man be that main comic. It's like bringing in another character for Guardians of the Galaxy to be comedians. You have a group of comedians there. It just doesn't feel well with this entire film. The action wasn't bad. I'm not going to say that because it was entertaining for the most part. But I am saying that it just doesn't nail the emphasis of a Spider-Man single movie. I still prefer, as of right now, the Amazing Spider-Man films. They're a lot more fun. Uh, Andrew Garfield really nails Peter Parker perfectly and Spider-Man, in my opinion. I, no matter what people say, I know Amazing Spider-Man 2 had its, has its problems, but Amazing Spider-Man 1 was, without a doubt, the best Spider-Man film to date. And I still think if they gave the third film a chance, that movie would have been absolutely incredible. But yeah, I absolutely just, I can't in good conscience give this. And I'm saying this as a comic book fan, I would have given this movie a six. But I, then I said, I'm not, I can't let's just put that behind me for a second. I was like, this movie's a seven. That's as high as I physically can go. It's an, it's not a, sl it's a, it's a good movie that doesn't nail up to the hype that it was promised. And it's got a... Ah, it's fucking... I'm giving it a six. My final verdict is a six. It's a slightly above average film. I can't. Like, I can't give it a seven. That film's a six, guys. I'm sorry, but... I Just, you fucked Spider-Man so hard in this Marvel. I really hope you can get it right. But I hope I got my point across. The film...
The story was eh, the combat was good, but you made Spider-Man look like a bitch in every form and way possible, and I gave my points across on that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.